It's the Rockman back with a quick update to my training progress. As you guys may remember, in January, February, I snapped myself up pretty good in a couple places, and I had to reevaluate what my goals were going to be for the next few months. I decided to go with a maintenance type of approach and slow cut. So today, I finally remembered to throw the tape in my bag, and after two warm-up sets, I saw it there and decided to get some of my measurements. I know it's kind of cheating. I probably got an eighth of an inch out of the tiny pump I got uh, from my two super light warm-up sets, but uh, my face looks disappointed <laughs> because I read the tape backwards. I thought it was below 19. I was like, how can that even be possible? But uh, it was not below 19. So this is full cheater mode. This is full pump, like any kind of a decent flex would be. Now, I'm not a bodybuilder, so my posing sucks. And in fact, when you see a lot of this, uh, it looks like I'm trying to make my trunk as thick as possible. Every time I flex my abs, I am bracing to make my trunk as big as possible, but that's not how you uh, flex your abdominals when you're trying to look pretty. That should be a vacuum right there if I was trying to make my V taper pop, but uh, I mean, like I said, I don't practice. I should probably practice if it's any kind of importance, of any kind of importance to me. The slow cut is about over. Here I actually figured it out. Yeah, right, it's supposed to be a little bit of vacuum. That's actually not a terrible looking pose if I got the right angle on it, except, you know, I have no bicep peak because I don't fucking train it. Um, so the last few months have been kind of brutal with cutting my carbs and everything, but I am down 15 pounds in the morning uh, from 275 to 260, approaching 10% body fat. There was no mega bulk. There was no extreme deficit cut. And I honestly don't know why so many guys feel like it's productive to overstress their body by doing it this way. There was a lot of treading water, lifting the same weights I was already capable of lifting and then accessorizing with weak point training to make tortoise gains on my main lifts or try to anyway the bench press seems to be the only one i was successful with because it was the only one i trained with any consistency so on the left was the day i did my 225 overhead press in late december and on the right was yesterday august 3rd 2020 if you want to talk about this or see videos on anything else drop a comment in the comments section below i hope you guys are training strong and as always thanks for watching